The last few years have been really hard. They've been so hard because of pandemic related issues, social justice issues, the shift in the workplace, how we work. And we know from studies, from research that our employees, our team members are suffering from staggering rates of exhaustion, fatigue, low morale, burnout, and so much more. In this moment, when budget cuts or talks of budget cuts are on the table, one of the first places we go to to cut are HR budgets and, we, and DEI budgets, which includes forms of social interactions. And I'm not talking about social events, although those are cut too. I deeply believe that social events are important, ways for us to get together formally and more importantly, informally, to spend time to talk to each other, to share, to just have a good time. Those are extremely important. And in fact, I'm going to implore you to not cut those. Because in this moment, when people are exhausted, they also still need to feel seen and supported as human beings and not widgets on a, an assembly line or, or just really doers and not people. And so social activity is critical. But the other thing that I wanted to mention here is that it's really important for us to continue to create actual opportunities for our team members to share feedback on how they're feeling and doing in this moment so that they feel seen, they feel heard, we're able to collect the feedback, and more importantly, continue to cultivate psychological safety in our workplaces. And the best way to do this is not through an online survey, it is through in-person interactions, because at the end of the day, as human beings, we are animals, we deeply crave co-regulation of the nervous system with people in our midst. And it's like feeling seen and heard isn't an online survey experience, although that's important too. And I would say, keep doing it. Don't cut that, keep doing it. But what I'm talking about is you're sitting in front of me, you're at a table, you're on a screen, and we have created this moment to openly talk about what are you struggling with? Here's what I'm struggling with. How are you coping? How am I coping? And how can we, what can we do about this? And to increase that conversation and that dialogue, that type of personal touch in a moment where people are really afraid about what's going to happen with their jobs, what's happening with all these cuts. It's three years of like fatigue are so critical.